A few years ago, Elegoo released their original Elegoo Saturn and it changed everything. They then went on to release the Elegoo Saturn S and then last year they released the Elegoo Saturn 8K along with the Elegoo Saturn 2. We now have the brand new Elegoo Saturn 3 and today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Elegoo Saturn 3 Ultra which is this all black version of the Elegoo Saturn 3 that has 12K resolution, wireless 3D printing and the ability to print incredibly fast. Now the Saturn 3 Ultra isn't just an all black version of the standard Elegoo Saturn 3. No, they of course had to make this ultra special. As I mentioned, the 3 Ultra has wireless transfer capabilities. This means that you can slice a file on your computer and wirelessly transfer it directly to the Saturn 3 Ultra for your 3D printing needs. And in fact, you can even start the print directly from your slicer if you wanted to. However, both machines are sporting the 10 inch 12K resolution display for that ultra crispy resin 3D printing. By the way, the Saturn 3 Ultra has an all metal body compared to this hard ABS like plastic that you're gonna find on the Saturn 3. The build volume is also slightly taller on the Elegoo Saturn 3 Ultra compared to the Saturn 3. Coming in at 218.88 by 122.88 by 260 millimeters high, almost identical to the 3. The 3 is just sporting a 250 millimeter tall build volume. The 3 Ultra also has a beefier Z rod to assist with the high speed printing, which is estimated at 150 millimeters per hour. Now, the way that that is achieved is by using some of the Elegoo high speed resin, which I do not have access to just yet. It's on the way, so I'm excited to test that out fully. I have been able to get some fairly fast prints with the limited time that I've had with this, with trying to calibrate some of the resin, and I think I could even push it even further with some of the settings that I'm using. I still think some of these prints are slightly overexposed, and I could be printing even faster than I'm gonna be showing you here today. This is also sporting their Cobb refractive light source, which honestly, I'm not even sure what that means, but it's, uh, it's printing really fantastic, and and the prints are looking really good on the 12K screen, so that's all that really matters to me. This is also sporting that tempered glass top protective surface here to help protect the light source from any sort of resin spills that you might have on the screen. It's also gonna make it a little bit easier if, you, if that ever occurs for when it comes to actually cleaning and removing that. Now, a few things have changed with the build plate on the Saturn 3 Ultra. The first of those being that there is a laser etched surface and that you'll actually find that over on the Saturn 3 as well. This is really great for adhering your prints during the print process. I have not had to sand the build plates, which is a process that I typically do with pretty much every resin 3D printer that I have. This works extremely well. The other thing that's changed with the Saturn 3 Ultra is it has the four bolt design head here, which is completely new for the Elegoo Saturns. Typically it has like on the Saturn 2 and even on the Saturn 3, it's this bulky joint ball head design where there's two bolts bolts on the one on the front, one on the side, that works extremely well. And initially here, I wasn't too thrilled with the two extra bolts. However, I'm very satisfied so far because I've literally had to level this once on the 3D printer and not had to touch it ever again, which fingers crossed won't get knocked out of whack. And when it comes to leveling the build plate, you're still gonna use the typical method that you've used previously of using an A9 piece of paper or the card stock that comes with the printer. And when it comes to the VAT, these are almost identical to the Saturn II. The one difference being on the Saturn III Ultra, there is the ACF film, which is gonna help you again achieve some of those high print speeds that you're looking to get here by quickly and easily releasing the prints from this screen here. There are also USB ports on the top of each side of the printer so that you can install the carbon filters onto the printer. By the way, the wireless transfer works extremely well. It's pretty quick. It works with 2G and 5G networks. Thank you, and again, you can slice it directly on your computer, send it to the machine, and start it directly from your machine as well. Now, before we take a look at some of the prints that I've gotten off of the Saturn 3 Ultra, I did want to mention the price point. The Saturn 3 Ultra is $499. The Saturn 3, which again is a 10-inch 12K resolution 3D printer, just minus some of the features that you might find on the Ultra, is $399. Both fantastic deals, and I also want to say a big, huge thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video, sending these along. If you didn't already know, I did a live stream 
today and uh, hopefully it went really well. Gave away some 3D printers, but also talked about the other new products that Elegoo has just recently launched. They have a brand new series of Elegoo Mars 3D printers, as well as some high speed Elegoo Neptune 4 and the Neptune 4 Pro, which are just awesome. If you're interested in more information about any of these 3D printers, you'll find links to those down below. So let's talk about some of the prints that I've gotten off of the Saturn 3 Ultra, and it wouldn't be an Elegoo resin video if I didn't print something from Photos Mint. So I started things off by printing his cyborg head bust statue sculpture thing. This is actually a failed print, and here you can see the resin laps of the actual print where a back portion came free from the supports. Now, I believe this had to do with some of the early settings that I was using with the resin, with my exposure settings and the speeds that I was trying to print with. Again, I have had just a handful of days to play with this, and so I've been trying to figure out the settings that I need based on the resin that I'm working with. This is actually Elegoo's 8K resin. It's not their high-speed resin. I don't have access to that just yet. I'll be making another video as soon as I do to show off some of the print speeds that I can get from this. The, this is, even though it's a failed print, the details on it just look absolutely stunning. I don't really think I can spot any layer lines whatsoever on this print. It's kind of blowing my mind how crisp and just unbelievably spotless this is, other than obviously the areas where it's separated from the supports in the back. The next thing I went off and tried to print were some miniatures. I know there are so many people out there that love printing resin 3D printable miniatures with their machines. So these are from Loot Studios, one of my favorites because they come pre-supported and it's just easy for me to run off and print with. And these were, I think, two second exposure time and I'm pretty sure I can get these well under two seconds with a little bit more testing and refining. But the details, again, are looking amazing on these miniatures. I just do a horrible job of support removal, but on some of these, like this one cyber creature there, this this might be the coolest detailed miniature that I've probably ever printed. It just looks fantastic. And while Loot Studios miniatures are crazy detailed, here are some that are super simplified, but are just so awesome to look at here coming off of the 3 Ultra. These are from Arbiter Miniatures, and this is part of a Kickstarter campaign for some files that I ended up backing. And again, the prints are just looking so clean, and I love how simple the designs are, and I think it really helps illustrate how well this machine can print something like these miniatures here that don't necessarily have a lot of detail, but you can still see how clean they are. Next up is the Oni Brute from Loot Studios at 75 millimeter scale. This was an eight hour print using the Elegoo ABS like resin. And again, I had just basically used some of the preset profiles for this particular print. Again, testing out with this resin before trying to speed things up. And Again, the details are just stunning off of this machine. I can't believe how clean we're seeing resin 3D printers being able to print things at this 12K resolution. And I honestly didn't think it, like beyond 8K is it gonna get any better. And I do honestly think that these are just super clean looking. And I like there's I just can't see any of the layer lines when looking at these. It's blowing my mind every time I take a look at one of these. So then I wanted to try and print something really tall and try and maximize as much of this build volume as I possibly could. So I found this dragon by Loot Studios. I had to end up supporting it myself. I think I went a little bit overboard with the auto supports here, and I regretted that later on when it came to actually removing those. But again, I, no surprise here. This print just came out amazing here in all of the detail that we're able to see off of this particular print here. And I believe this was like a 12 hour print. It's it took up most of the build volume there on the machine. But again, I do think I'm gonna be able to speed this up a good bit more by refining the settings even further or getting access to that high speed resin that I'm really looking forward to trying out. By the way, don't throw away those tall support pieces. You can save those and use them for your vat cleaning functions inside of your resin 3D printers. And then finally, I wanted to print something big and epic off of the Saturn 3 Ultra. So I found this file from Wicked 3D of Cable from Deadpool 2. 
and it printed in multiple parts here in Elegoo's 8K resin. And this is with some of the settings more dialed in and I was able to get most of those in in just over four hours for each of the print options. Now there were actually a few extra parts that I needed to print for the statue before I can get it assembled and show it off to you. The first of those I actually ended up printing over on the Elegoo Saturn 3, just the standard three, not the three ultra here in some of this clear resin that I tinted with a little bit of orange in there for the effect of the shield. Now take a look at this amazing fully resin 3D printed figure of cable that just looks unreal. This is so amazing, but it's missing the base of the statue. And it just so happens that I have the brand new Elegoo Neptune 4 3D printers that I can run off and print those on. Now this has to be up there with some of the coolest things that I have ever run off in 3D printing. And this is exactly why I love being able to run off in 3D print things and share them with you all. The results of this just, I think, speak for itself. And I'm so happy with the results of how this turned out. If you're interested in more information about the Elegoo Saturn 3 Ultra, or the Saturn 3, or the Neptune 4, or the Neptune 4, Ultra. You can find more information about those linked down below. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making videos here on the interwebs. I'm going to be busy working on refining the settings for the Elegoo Saturn 3 and the Saturn 3 Ultra here over the next few weeks. And if you're interested in my settings that I'll be using for that, you can find them over on my Patreon. And like I mentioned previously, I'll be doing a follow-up video once I get my hands on that high-speed resin for the Saturn 3 Ultra and showing off exactly how fast this thing can print. But let me know what your thoughts are on these new machines from Elegoo and if there's anything missing that you'd like to see added next year when they inevitably roll out the Saturn 4. Hey, thanks so much for watching all and I'll see you next time.